Here's our coach. We're put we're in site number two. It's a pretty good site. We have water, we have electricity. It rained like crazy. The storms here are really pretty violent. Lots of gusty winds and torrential downpours. It's interesting to see how it rolls off everybody's slide. Here's our power bay, so we'll hook up. That's water. Not everybody who gets service is here. You can only park in this campground and you stay free for one night. I mean, for the whole time you're here, not for just one night. So you just come in whenever you want. They're open seven to seven for check-in. And then you've got service bays over, the, over on the other side. And you stay until they call you. So when you come in, you check in, they give you a packet. You list all the things that you want done on, in your packet with all the information about your vehicle, the VIN. So you can hear the ones that are going in this morning starting up, getting their slides in, packing out whatever they need to do in order to be able to pull to the bay. So uh, everybody's getting ready. There's just lines and lines of it. I can't remember exactly how many. Then you have to hand in that packet on the first day that you're here. The second day you're here. Then um, someone comes by, tells you, it asks you if you want something else added to the list, and then you, uh, then they'll, they give you a slight idea of when they're going to be able to take you. They told us that the backlog right now is about a week, so uh, you probably. Um, I'll be sitting here watching this fairly frequently. The preponderance of RVs here are phaetons and buses. The Lego bus is very much the norm. There's a phaeton there. That's a bus over there. You have to be one year old to be able to be in this parking lot, one year old or less. There comes another one in now, that's a phaeton. If you're more than one year old, then there are campgrounds around the area, quite a few of them actually, and you can wait outside and then they just call you and tell you when to come in. And of course that costs money to have them fix whatever you're going to fix, whereas this is warranty work and it doesn't. Okay. Here comes another one rolling out. all going to get in a line up at the front so that they can get in position. So at 7 o'clock they are ready to roll into the bays. There goes another one. Another one from outside. This one here is putting its slides in, so it's going to be rolling out as well. We have someone that used to be next to us, so they probably are already in line. Go look at the other side, see if we can see. Uh, this is where the service bays are over here. So this 
they had to put this barbed wire fence up because um, last year, early last year, a woman ran her coach. They used to have, these used to be hookups too. You could see the numbers maybe. Um, now they use it for ones they're working on. But uh, last year some a woman ran her um, coach with the slides and everything out into one of the bay doors probably having a little too much to drink not thinking the whole thing through and uh, you can see them all coming in to the bay uh, just uh, damaging one of the, the vehicles that was behind the door and creating all sorts of havoc so they put this fence up and now no one can use those front sites as additional sites for waiting for service. So here's the base. They have them on the other side as well. So I think maybe you'll be able to see see the see on the other side you can see that there's doors opening. So here comes some more. Oh, there's those puppies. GoPro stop. Okay, so here's a little shot of the bays again. I wish I could figure out how to zoom in for you, but I'm new with this, so I'm kind of having some issues. Some more coming in. Okay, Kylan. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. I'll shoot some more video later in the day. Thanks again. I'll talk to you later. Bye!